That's pretty, actually. I can smell it. I can smell this area. Oh right, shift isn't run. North of the canyon. Okay. So that way. I'm gonna follow the trail that way. No, I'm not. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. So, this way. She acts as if I remember where that cave is. I don't. I wish Henry would have marked it on his map. Did he mark it on his map? Oh, he did. Look at that. Okay. So... Heh, <laughs> Widowmaker. Medicine wheel. Cash 306. There is a cave somewhere. I'm going not the right way. Let's go back to the tower. There's a cave. Okay. Okay, so go back this way. Back to the tower. And... This way. Right? Yeah. I don't know why the map is freaking out when I do that, but... I go straight, follow this trail, and I'll hit the cave. Okay, cool. Barrel fair, fire lookout, six miles that way, bear tooth. Okay. So I follow this. Just stay on the path, Henry. <laughs> Impressive. I would have fallen off this second cliff right here, too. <laughs> I like the little bunny hop. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. Uh, hey, your button is still down. No, I don't think he has any idea. Screw it, we're just gonna listen. I'm absolutely sure. 
Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. <laughs> but you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, yeah it's sure. Look, I Look at that. Thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Look at that view. Goodness gracious. Oh, wait, I have to stay north, right? Wait. Yeah. He's done with everything. They were getting into a spat before uh, in the last episode. It was great. They're so. S Continue north. Or as close to north as possible. I would just go straight and walk right into a rock. Yeah, okay. Wait, she said where? Beartooth Point. Okay. Oh, there's the line. I just have to follow it up to that way. Okay, ah, keep. No, okay. The hell we go. Where does it stop? Nobody knows. What? That I saw some. Oh, look. We're up there. Straight up. This way. Oh, what's over here? Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Ew. Oh, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe... Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. I'm lost already. Good lord. The path again. There's the path. Oof. If I'm not mistaken... Uh, uh, hey, I can see your tower. suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. Cool, okay, so you can watch me become bear poop. Am I supposed to go this way? I think. Yeah, I'm going up there. Alright, if memory serves, the wire is broken, which is kind of the point. Ugh. <sighs> How's that noise? Another beer can. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Oh, 
Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Bunch of empty cans. I only saw the one. Oh, there it is. Okay. I am not allowing these people to mess up this wonderful area. Let me pick up the damn can. Excuse you. I am cleaning up nature. Give, 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 give. Why you no know give? Ugh. It's going to annoy me. Wait, where am I going? Up here. Ugh. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Other than... Inspect the wire up close. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Fair enough. Let's hear it. Oh yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make uh, a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. <laughs> I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. <laughs> I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Noted. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe oh, they looped right. back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I'm finding plenty of beer cans. Where could they have gone? Whee! Nice job, Henry. Alright, what are we looking at here? Two forks, thoroughfare, supply drop. Where am I going? Find the teens. Alright. What's dish? Cable car. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. Oh, okay. cool. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. I suppose that's a good From time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? <laughs> yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man, 
Bravo. <laughs> Okay, how the hell do I get out of here if I don't have a rope? Or do I have a rope and I'm just dumb? Oh! There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Ow! Ayo, rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. Aww. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. You guys keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kid? Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, what's a 40-year-old woman going to do with a teenage pen pal? Fair Good. enough. Good point. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Oh, Try I will. to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No. <laughs> I have to check out the new guy at Two Forks. I heard him talking to himself more than usual for LO, so I figured I'd stay away from my way. saw Jimmy Rock having himself in that hammock. What? So I picked the deranged and perverted. You might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? Goes back in the cash box. Now I have a camera to take. Hello? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? I reckon so. Noted. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an right. eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Noted. Okay, where's Five Mile Creek? Just let me look at the damn map. Thank you. What? Why is this freaking out? I have to go all the way. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh. Going this way. Don't know why it freaks out whenever I... What happened here? This looks like the site of a fire. Hmm. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's, like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is. Is she. She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Not fun. We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her, and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Oh. To have a good... I'm having a hell of a time getting 
this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? Do you like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. I like that. Yeah, that's it. solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. It's all yours. Yay. I'm using it now, too. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you out of breath already, Henry? Good lord. What's over here? Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no. I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. I could probably do that. Am I going to do that? Damn right I am. More? I want more. Let's go. Oh. We're always loving the music. <laughs> oh, a lot more of the music. No way. I'm just gonna keep using it all. Where am I? Oh, I'm back on the path that I know. Okay, cool. Where's my path? There's my path. Oh, that's going down. That goes into a, a tree. Path. There we go. Sometimes it's okay taking the long routes down or up. The scenic route, if you will. There's two forks. Two forks. That's Jonesy Lake. This is two forks. Okay, now I gotta go towards the smoke. Southwest, so that way. Towards Five Mile Creek. Okay. So I'll go this way. Is there a path down there? Not as easy to see. I'd have to go. <sighs> Going this way. Back onto the path, and then there's a game. If I go this way, I'll. Jeez. Go towards Widowmaker. And I can get down or up. And there'll be a path over to where this smoke might be. Okay. So I just gotta f follow this path. And this way. think. Yeah, okay. This way. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and works. asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, oh, you were brave. I was drunk. 
Close enough. I mean, I make friends when I go drinking too. If I'm sober, I'm not brave enough, that's for damn sure. We meet again, Widowmaker. You haven't beat me yet. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> yes. Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. I mean, I got a more, I got a sturdier rope. Oh my. Ayo. That widow maker. Where's the smoke? There it is. Uh, another one? Jeez. Throw down. Yeah. Good lord. Did I go the right way? I did go the right way. Cool. That tree grew sideways. Cool. Come on, I want more scenic routes where I get pretty music. The music gib. Oh, supply cash. Cash. Whatever. Hello, how are you? Missing person. What's in here? Another pine cone. Many pine cone. Oh my. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so hey. remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking. Mitch Michael, 31, 62. Distinctive facial hair. Last seen around Jonesy Lake, July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981, by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location, which was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1972 Ford F 250, blue and white, Montana license. Hmm. Into the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD day hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every Doing good. How are you? that pops into I their head. I'm doing great. <laughs> and those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, Hello. I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. This no, camera's it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. Oh, come on. And uh, <laughs> you'll never hear from me again. Oh, snap. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yes. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Really? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Found it.
Yay, pretty music. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Until they're invasive. Yeah, things are pretty cool until they're not. But hey, take it for what it is. Ah, here it is. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. Yeah, it's on uh -huh. the ground here at their camp. I take that on it. I have entered the teen zone. Oh god. Oh really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. What? Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um. I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever. The police are going to tell them about how you creeped off the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing. Uh, no, we didn't do that. That nah, wasn't us. Did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? It's threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. Too late. It's, it's, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad Oh, he yeah, absolutely. Trip. We don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Damn it. Okay.